It's the beginning of August, and I suppose it's time that I just go ahead and admit that the 2024 gardening year was pretty much a bust. Marigolds look good. The basil, I just harvested that a couple days ago to make some pesto. So I don't know if I'll get another cutting or not. The cucumbers, they're kind of a bust. They're the marketer variety. And as far as getting cucumbers, I planted enough to just get cucumbers for the table. That really hasn't worked out well. I haven't had any. That is a California Wonder Pepper. Never set flowers. Not one bloom. These are the jalapeno peppers, which I have one harvest off of. And they've set some more flowers, so perhaps there'll be enough that I can get a second batch of cowboy candy. And if that's the case, then uh, I won't need to plant them next year because one, one or two batches of cowboy candy will do me a couple years. But here's the big failure. The tomatoes. We had a heat wave in June and it hit at the very worst time. These are Roma tomatoes and what we have are these itty bitty tomatoes that are not ripening. They're, they're getting the blossom end rot even though I've put lots of calcium, the garden lime, uh, I've kept them well limed but uh, the blossom end rot is just, it's, it comes on every one of them. Earlier in the year, they got to be this big, which is maybe the size of a golf ball, and then they just fell off. So I don't know what's up with that, except it has not been a good year. So, I'm going to sit here finish my coffee and then I'm going to dig up all the tomatoes. Might do a little rearranging of my racks too. So we'll be checking back on that. Well, Loki, did you come to help? Hmm? Did you come out to help? This is Loki. He doesn't usually come out to the garden, but uh, he did today, so that's okay. Usually it's just me and the dog He's out there working with his ball. Well, tomato row is gone. Got them all pulled out. Some of them had nice deep roots. So I don't really know, don't know what the problem was. I think it was just this year. But when they won't produce tomatoes and it's already too late in the year for them to be setting more flowers, there's no point to keep watering them. So they are gone. All I can say is, next year, I will not be planting indeterminate varieties. Everything I plant will be determinate. Getting to a 
set size and stopping. And one of the reasons for that is I'm going to reorient my racks. And that's what's coming up next. As you can see, Deuce has joined me and progress has been made. Got all the tomatoes pulled up out of the pots and I've, I'm reconfiguring my racks. They're also, uh, my oldest rack, which is sitting out there in the yard, it needs a bit of work. Uh, the 2x4 uh, that goes across the top is cracked, so I think I will take that apart and make it uh, a four-footer, which will be more I, be more usable, more convenient in a lot of different places. So there's my buckets that I, I still need to get those moved under the carport so that they don't sit in the rain all winter. Those are big red peppers, which I haven't seen a flower on them, but I'm going to give them another week or two, and if I don't see any flowers, they too will go the way of the tomatoes. I have a rack there that also needs some work done. Now with the tomatoes gone, that opens up the strawberry bed, which I need to get into and I need to weed it and put some fertilizer on the strawberries. So that's going to be on the agenda for another cool morning. And reconfiguring where I sit the racks has given me a different idea. I could chop down the old rack and fit it in this space right here. But I'm thinking that would be a good place for me to arrange um, a way to uh, access point to the garden. I can take a 2x4 and cut, cut it to length and wrap the netting around it and staple it down into place and then uh, bungee cord it up there and kind of make a little gate. And I think that might be the way to go. You can hear my neighbor down there decided to go out and mow the grass. And like I say, Deuce decided that he would come in and join us. So anyway, I'm about to lose the shade. So I'm done for the day. Glad that it's going well. I feel really good about what I got accomplished. And now this gives me a chance to sort of step back and look and see what it is I might want to do next. Other than, of course, go get the tractor and gather up all the tomato cuttings and get them on the compost pile. So that's it for right now. Thanks for coming along for this short little revamp with me. If you want to, subscribe, like the channel, help my channel grow. I sure I would appreciate it. There's lots of different things that uh, I do around here that I want to show people, especially single women. You can do it. You can do it too. It doesn't have to be done in a day. Take your time. Think it out. Just go step by step and you'll get it done. So that's it. Casey Kendricks signing off for today. Thank you.